Well, hey everybody, here go my three girls uh, with Mr. Stick. It's basically tied a towel onto an old broom handle. Uh, that's uh, that's Miss Yeller out there. Hi, Miss Yeller. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Back there's Miss Purple. What? Okay, hold on, man. All right, right there, since since she wants to be noticed so bad, that's Miss Green. Back there's really. Do not touch my camera. I will make a dog flop. Back there is Mr. Uh, Miss Purple, rather. And uh, let me hold on. Let me switch hands here. Just another reminder. Uh, 605258. You know, I don't see a lot of difference in there. I wouldn't necessarily think any one of these dogs is going to grow up more than a two, three, four, five pounds different than the other kind of thing. What wrong, Miss Yeller? You got, what? Is Mr. Stick scaring you? It's okay. I got Mr. Stick. Yeah, I wouldn't let him hurt you. I won't let Mr. Stick hurt you. You want some of him? You want some of Mr. Stick? I want some of you, boss. That's what I want. Yeah, you want some of me. Go out there and play. Go out there and play. Ah. Uh, Usually we don't play in a house, but I know folks want to see their puppy play. And it's too daggum cold. Yeah, too daggum cold to go outside. <laughs> are you having a good time, are you? Uh, I think that dog right there, it's purple. To me, that looks like a dead ringer for her daddy, Chewy. Uh, I think she's going to have that curlier coat. Uh, these other two beasties, to me, look more like Mommy Gibbity. And, you know, probably have a little bit harder coat. Although, at this age, it's kind of hard to tell. So, yeah, you got some curls going on there, too, Miss Yeller. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And you, you look like you're the smallest. Are you the smallest, Miss Green? I'm not going to change hands to check out my cheat sheet again. Well, I came here to see if anybody wanted to play with Mr. Stick. No? Nobody? Nobody? Well, I got their brothers cooped up over in the uh, kennel there, pushed up against the wall. Uh, they're learning not to crawl out over the top. And though, frankly, they're still learning, so I wouldn't be at all surprised if I don't see one of them come prancing around that corner here pretty soon. What do you think? What do you think? And I wanted to focus on these three girls. So anyhow, uh, let me know if you want to see anything in particular. Yeah, anything in particular? Hmm? Anything? Anything? Uh, Personality-wise, uh, Miss Purple over there, she always struck me as being a little more skittish for whatever reason. I remember when she was no more than a week or two old, I reached in the kennel and touched her, and she about had a fit. Yeah, I scared you, did I? I didn't mean to. So, I don't know. She's still a little more cautious than this one, for example. You ain't got no caution in you at all. You're like, let me at it, warden. How about you? And you? I don't know. You're just a, just a good all-around dog. I got, nothing to, I got nothing bad to say about any of these dogs. And uh, personality-wise, it's hard for me to know, folks, because honestly, you know, I raise them as a pack, and you're not raising your Airedale as a pack, or at least not with other Airedales, so I think they're going to respond to you. So I would say if you want a calm, obedient Airedale, then you pretty much better stay calm and, and, uh, and kind yourself kind of thing. And if you want to want a little more rambunctious, well, well, then be a little bit more rambunctious with him kind of thing. Yeah? Yeah? All right. Well, anyhow, it's dragging off. Just wanted to show them to you. Let me know if I can show you anything else. Talk to you next time.